Hi, and welcome to English for You. I'm Seb. And I'm Laura. So, Laura, I was talking to a friend last、right? night about Madrid, the city where I used to、uh-huh. live. And he asked me if there were any bad neighborhoods there.、Mm, okay. A- and that kind of got me thinking.、Right? In Madrid, there isn't really anywhere that's unsafe、yeah. to walk alone at、really? night. There are rich neighborhoods and there、uh-huh. are poor neighborhoods. But there aren't really bad neighborhoods,、oh. so I'm not sure what a bad neighborhood is. What would you dis- use to describe a bad neighborhood? How I, would you describe I one? I think what he meant was there are probably a lot of burglaries or、mm-hmm. like thieves in the neighborhood.、Right. Basically, somewhere you feel unsafe, you would call that kind of okay. bad.、Mm-hmm. Okay, like say if you go home at night alone, or、mm-hmm. even when you're home alone, you kind of feel unsafe. I think that's what、right. he meant. I think so. Okay, so that's what he meant.、Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we are actually going to talk about something very similar today. <gasps> Our... Yes, we're going to talk about、uh-huh. kind of what makes people do bad things <gasps> in certain areas. Cri- yeah, it's called criminology, actually. Right. The study of crimes. Ooh, I、But、like that. We're going to talk about what the theories behind why people misbehave in certain、Suicide. areas and not in others. So,、mm-hmm. let's get started. Let's do that. Is it time to break the broken windows theory? In 1969, a U.S. college professor carried out an interesting experiment. He parked a car in a wealthy neighborhood and waited for someone to damage it. After three days, nothing had happened, so the professor decided to break one of the car's windows. Within a few hours, criminals had completely destroyed it. This study led to the development of something called the broken windows theory. It stated that minor disorder, such as broken windows and litter, could encourage more serious crimes. The idea was that if police officers prevented small crimes, they could stop more serious ones from happening. The broken windows theory has been popular for decades. More recently, though, people have begun to doubt how accurate it is. It turns out that the theory ignored important factors that cause increased crime rates, like poverty. What's worse, it has been found that the theory often unfairly targets racial minorities. This theory may have once been celebrated as a weapon against crime, but today it's clear that it was a misfire. So the title for today's article is "Is it time to break the broken windows theory?" Oh, okay.、Mm. I like that play of words. Okay. Yeah, play on words there. Right. Okay. We're going to look at the title. 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 Okay. Break 这里的 break 呢， mm-hmm. 就是打破这样的迷思的一个概念。Right. Mm-hmm. OK， 那 broken window theory 就是我们接下来要讨论的破窗效应。Mm-hmm. OK， so in the article we read in 1969， a U.S. college professor carried out an interesting experiment. Oh， I wonder what it was. Yeah，、mm-hmm. 所以在一九六九年，一个美国教授进行了一项有趣的测验哦。那你们以后去上大学就一定会知道，那边的老师很多都是。教授，英文就是 professor，、mm-hmm. 这是一个名词。那刚刚他提到了 carry out 这个片语，就是有进行。So carry out an experiment、mm-hmm. 就是进行一项实验。It is.、Mm-hmm. So what did he do? What was、yeah. this interesting experiment?、Right. Well, he parked a car in a wealthy neighborhood、mm-hmm. and waited for someone to. Damage it? Uh huh. How weird Ooh, is that? That is a weird thing to do. Right. 这也太妙了。他就是把这个车子停在一个哇比较高级有钱的住宅区， mm-hmm. 然后竟然他等人要去破坏它。Okay,、mm-hmm. we'll read on to find out more. Okay,、yeah. in the article we read after three days. Nothing had happened. Okay, that's、mm-hmm. good. That's actually a good thing,、yeah. right? So the professor decided to break one of the car's windows. What? Oh, I know this is getting this, really th- th- weird. It really makes no sense, I right? Know. This is weird. Okay, so it 竟然一开始他停了三天、mm-hmm. ，什么都没有发生，所以接下来教授更猛啦，他就决定要打破其中一个车窗。So why would he do that?、Good、well,、question. we we're about to find out. Within a few hours, criminals had dis- completely 
destroyed it.、Wow. When we destroy something, we completely break it so that it can't be used or isn't there anymore. A car that has been destroyed will have all its windows broken. It might have even been set on fire. It could have even been blown up. Ta bao jia la. When we are part of something, when every part of something has been destroyed, we can say that it it has been completely destroyed, or we could say that it it has been. Destroyed entirely or entirely destroyed. Now, because destroy means to completely ruin something, we can also say destroy someone's life, which means to completely ruin someone's emotions, their career, their personal life, any part of it. If you completely ruin it, it is destroyed. So let's look at an example of that. Simone's divorce destroyed her. So this divorce wasn't destroying Simone physically. She didn't die after the divorce, but maybe her personal life kind of fell apart. Maybe it was very, very、uh, difficult for her. We can also use destroy as well in some other ways. Let's take a look at those now. So we actually had an example sentence、right? there as well. The fire spread throughout the museum and destroyed thousands of pieces of priceless art.、Oh, I think、no. I would have felt destroyed if that happened. I know,、mm. horrible. Okay,、mm -hmm. destroy 呢？哦，在本课是破坏，或者也有摧毁的意思。它是一个动词哦。嗯，比方像是哦，我想到战争当中、mm -hmm. ，most of the old part of the city was destroyed by bombs、mm -hmm. during the war. 就这个城市大部分这个老。Mm. That's true of lots of places、right. in Europe.、Mm -hmm. mm. And like what Sebastian mentioned, doesn't destroy doesn't have to mean physically destroyed.、Right. Like in the next example sentence,、mm -hmm. the scandal destroyed, or we could also say ruined、mm -hmm. his reputation. Naughty! What did he do?、Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in a few hours, just coming back from the lesson, he did something terrible. The murderer completely destroyed it. Now, next in the article, we read the study led to the development of something called ah the broken windows theory,、right. which is what we're talking about.、Mm -hmm. Okay, lead to 这个片语就是促成或是导致 Okay,、mm -hmm. so let's talk more about this theory. Well, it's a very interesting story. Okay,、uh, so if we look at the article,、right? we find it stated that minor disorder、mm -hmm. such as broken windows and litter. Right. Could encourage more <gasps> serious crimes.、Mm. Now we saw that word "stated" there really quickly.、Mm -hmm. That is a fancy way way of saying、uh -huh. sa "said"、ah. or making a statement. When I'm、right. sure about something, I can state it. Right. So we also saw the word "minor" as、mm. well. That's one of our vocab words, and it's an adjective. When something is minor, it's small or not very serious. There is a minor problem for with your schoolwork, for example. There's an example of、uh -huh. using minor. Now, if you have a minor problem with your schoolwork, it's not a big problem. It's something you can fix easily, and、mm -hmm. you're probably doing quite well. Right. The opposite of minor, though, is major. Major. And if you have a major problem with your schoolwork, or even worse, if Laura has a major problem with、no. me. That means she has a big problem with me, or I have a big、uh -oh. problem with my schoolwork.、So、these are serious things <laughs> that we probably need to do a lot of work、right. to fix. But luckily, that's just an example. Right. Yes, just an example. That can never happen to us. Right, could never happen to us. Uh, but minor can also be used as a noun、right. as well. That also wouldn't really happen to us either, because <laughs> when we talk about a minor, we're talking about someone who is not an adult, so a child、mm. or a teenager. So if someone is an adult, though, we don't call them a major.、Yeah. So remember that there's no majors,、like、major. just minors. Yeah, majors <laughs> in the army, not majors <laughs> adults. Now, one last thing: minor can also be used as a verb.、Ah. If you minor in something, you study it at college,、mm -hmm. but it's not your main subject.、Mm. You major in your main subject,、yeah. and you minor in something a little bit smaller, maybe、yeah. one hour a week.、Right. So take a look at this example in college. I majored in physics, but I minored in music. Now we've looked at lots and lots of different uses usages、yeah. for minor and major,、uh, but let's look at one more example sentence of minor as we saw it in the article. Yes. 
Ruth escaped the riot with only minor injuries. Lucky. Lucky okay. Ruth. Yeah. Okay. We're looking at minor. Many meanings, right? But in the course, it has the minor, 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 minor,
The idea was that if police officers prevented small crimes,、mm-hmm. they could stop more serious ones from happening.、Mm, that、mm-hmm. sort of makes sense. Yeah, if you have order, then、yeah. people are、yeah. going to behave themselves better. Right, I assume. Right. And then you can prevent、mm-hmm. big crimes from ever having happened. Now, prevent、mm-hmm. is a verb, and to prevent something means to stop it、right. from happening. Police believed that if they stopped small crimes from happening, then they could stop larger ones from happening too. However, you、mm. might have noticed that regular exercise <gasps> and a good diet also prevents. Illness. Yes, so we're not yes, just talking、yes. about preventing crimes. No. We're also talking about preventing other things too. Right. Now that doesn't mean that exercise and a good diet will cure your illnesses. No. That's not what prevent means. We're saying that they will stop you from getting ill、mm-hmm. in the first place. They'll keep、right. you healthy. So what is the opposite of prevent then? Yeah. We've actually already seen it in the article.、We、it、did? is encourage. Ah. When we encourage something, we try to get it to happen.、Mm. So police prevent. Small crime crimes because they believe that small crimes encourage larger ones.、Hmm. See how that works? Yeah. Now our example sentence for prevent is、mm-hmm. the windows in Margaret's house have bug screens to prevent bugs from getting in. Good. So we're not welcoming them in. No. 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 Please don't. Prevent 就是阻止或是防止，它是个动词哦。像是啊，出国的时候一定要做这件事情。Label your suitcases to prevent confusion， 这样在拿行李的时候就不会拿到别人的。就是要怎么样防止被搞混哦。或者呢，哎，我们是不是要系安全带 ？Seat belts in cars often prevent serious injuries. 好啦，所以看回课文，我们大概了解到，因此呢，执法人员利用这个破窗理论，强调这个要怎么样打击轻微犯罪，这样才有助减少更严重的罪案。OK， 那这样就是以零容忍的态度面对这个罪案。Next in the article, we read the broken windows theory has been popular for decades. So it's been popular for decades,、right. for years and years and、mm-hmm. years. But then, why are we talking about it now? Exactly. Is, what's the point? If it's talk- so good, yeah. If it's perfect, why、mm-hmm. do we need to discuss it? Well, there's actually more. We're going to find out in the article.、Ooh. We find out that more recently, though, people have begun to doubt how <gasps> accurate it is.、Mm. Okay, so accurate there is kind of like right or correct.、Yeah. So、um, if you're throwing a dart at a dartboard <laughs> and you hit the middle, you're accurate. I know. If you throw it and you hit your friend in the face, that's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's why I don't pay, play darts. You apologize. Right, you apologize, <laughs> but you're also inaccurate. That's right. Right. So we saw the word doubt there as well, and that's a verb. And if you doubt. Something you are not sure if it is true. So if Laura is always late for work, and then one day she says that she will never be late again, I might doubt whether that will happen. She is almost always late, so why would she always be on time now? I'm on time today. You were、That's、on time、Carol. today. Okay, you were on time. I was late today. Yeah. Anyway. Um, we can also use it in a slightly different way as right, well.、Okay. If I say that it isn't going to rain in Taiwan、ah. for the next two months,、mm-hmm. then Laura might doubt that that's true. After、mm-hmm. all, it rains a lot in Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. I don't think it's ever gone without、I、raining、know. for、I、two hate months. I know. I hate the rain.、Mm-hmm. So, on the other hand, if you have no doubt about something, it means that you are completely certain that it is true. Yes. If I say Laura will be late tomorrow, and there's no doubt about that,、uh-huh. it means that I am sure that Laura will be late. Thanks. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so、uh, we've got an example sentence here as well. Emily says that she is going to quit smoking. But I doubt that's true.、Ooh. Does this make me a bad friend? No, I think、mm-hmm. you're right about Emily. Anyways, 但是呢，就不用怀疑，我真的不会再迟到了。Doubt 这个字呢， mm-hmm. 我们要注意一下 ，that B is silent, so we don't、mm-hmm. say doubt. Doubt. Okay. Okay.、No. 它就是有怀疑的意思，它是个动词。Mm-hmm. 比方像是呢 ，I doubt whether or if I can finish the work on time.、Mm-hmm. 这时候你就有点怀疑说，哎，我自己是不是可以按时完成这项工作？你不确定的意味。Mm-hmm. 不过如果你说 I don't doubt his abilities， 这就是表示你很肯定，你不怀疑某人的能力。Mm-hmm. 好啦，回到课文，所以近几年、哦，竟然人们开始怀疑这所谓的破窗理论呢。Well, the article continues、mm-hmm. to say it turns out that the theory ignored important factors that cause increased、right. crime rates, like p- 
poverty.、Mm-hmm. Okay, 这里的 turn out, okay, 就是结果是，就是你本来不觉得怎么样， mm-hmm. 结果竟然是如何如何。所以这个理论没有考量到很重要的因素导致高犯罪率。比方像是 poverty 就是贫穷。嗯哼 ，right. We're not all machines just waiting、right. to commit crimes. There's other things、mm-hmm. uh, that influence whether we commit crimes or not. So it's actually even worse than that, though. It wasn't just that he was the original research was skipping、uh-huh. some important factors. The article says what's worse, it has also been it has been found、uh-huh. that the theory often unfairly targets <gasps> racial minorities. So、hmm. racial there is an adjective, and when something is racial, it has、mm-hmm. something to do with race. That's Ren Zhong.、Mm-hmm. Now, in the article, we used this adjective to modify minority,、mm. and minority, which Laura just explained,、right? means a small group of people that make up less than half the people in a larger group. Yes. So a racial minority means、mm-hmm. people of a certain race. Who are not the largest racial group、right. in the area? So if that's all a bit confusing, then let's look at this example. Okay. If you live in Taiwan and、yeah. you are black, white,、uh, bl- uh, Aboriginal, Yanjuming, yes, or Southeast Asian, then you might describe yourself as part of a racial minority.、Mm. That's because most people in Taipei. Are Taiwanese, right. right? They're Taiwanese with Chinese origins rather、yes. than Aboriginal, for example. Right, right.、Um, so there are some other ways that we can use racial as well.、Mm. We can talk about racial discrimination, which is yeah, is when people treat other people differently、mm. depending on what race they are.、Um, and there's racial diversity, which、yeah. is when people of lots of different backgrounds and origins live. Together in the same space, or racial equality, which、mm-hmm. is where people are treated exactly the same,、right. or the idea that they should be treated the、mm-hmm. same,、um, regardless of you know their skin tone,、mm-hmm. where they're from, etc. Anyway, our example sentence for racial is: Unfortunately, racial discrimination is still common throughout the world. Oh,、mm-hmm. so unfortunate. 好哇哦。那我们来看一下 racial 这个字，就是种族的或是人种的， mm-hmm. 它是个形容词。像是刚刚其实 Seb 有提到 racial discrimination， 嗯、mm-hmm. 呃，就是种族歧视啦，或是偏见、mm-hmm. racial prejudice， 就是种族偏见。Right. Mm-hmm. 那我们课文提到的 racial minority 就是少数民族， mm-hmm. 所以课文说的是更糟的是这个理论通常是不公平的针对少数民族的人呢。嗯哼。So let's hear a little bit more about、mm-hmm. this. We're actually reaching the conclusion of our article,、yes. and it says this theory may have once been celebrated as a weapon against crime, but today it's clear that that was a that it was a misfire. So、uh, yeah, so it did kind of go very wrong.、Mm, this idea、no. that oh we've got this key thing. That this this idea this rule that we if we put it into place in cities、mm-hmm. then everyone will be fine, you know because everybody only commits crimes if they see that it's okay to. But we learnt you can read more about it online that it didn't really. It、no. just ended up treating certain people a lot worse. Oh,、mm-hmm. okay. So this theory, 或许曾被称颂是个打击犯罪的武器哦。Mm-hmm. Celebrate 在这里注意哦，它是有赞扬或者是赞颂，但现今很显然它是一个 misfire， 就是、right. 呃，这是什么呢？它是一个名词，表示计划、mm-hmm. 没有达到预期的效果，它是失败的这样的意思哦。嗯哼 ，so it failed. I know. But you know what didn't fail today? No. Us, this article. <gasps> I know. And but sadly, that means we're kind of at the end、yeah. of it now. So、okay. uh, we need to go through to our for you track question.、Okay. So let's do that now. Okay, one final question before we wrap up. Seb, what do you think makes people want to break the law? Discuss with your partner, which is mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. You're my yeah, partner. Yeah, I'm your partner. That I means know, I、like, get to answer this super、please. heavy question. I know.、Uh, it's well, it's difficult to say、right. what makes people break the law. There's no one end、answer. of question, right? It's a very、right. big question. 
Um, I think one thing that mm -hmm. makes people uh, care less about the law, right, not necessarily is... want to break the law, but care less about the law, mm -hmm. is if they are treated differently oh. uh, based on something which is out of their control. So uh -huh. you know, in certain parts of the world, you know, people are more likely to be treated differently because That's of true. their appearance <gasps> or their cultural background, mm -hmm. or maybe because they have come from another country and moved to that oh. country. You know, people, whether it's the police or Other people right, right. treat them different, differently, 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 and unfairly, mm -hmm. and often uh, punish them more harshly for the things that they do wrong. So I think if I were in that situation, mm -hmm. I think I would be less caring of the system. Of the country that I lived in, than if people treated me with the same respect as everyone else. Yeah. So I think that it's not just the people themselves that are right. at fault when this happens. I think also the people who are policing a place need mm -hmm. to think about how they police it. I know. So that is my answer mm -hmm. to the question. Unfortunately, we're kind of <gasps> out of time to talk about more. You know, but you guys can mm -hmm. have a chat, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes. So we're out of time. We're going to we get some food, and we'll see you when we. See you. Mm -hmm, we will. See you next time. Bye. Is it time to break the broken windows theory? In 1969, a U.S. college professor carried out an interesting experiment. He parked a car in a wealthy neighborhood and waited for someone to damage it. After three days, nothing had happened, so the professor decided to break one of the car's windows. Within a few hours, criminals had completely destroyed it. This study led to the development of something called the broken windows theory. It stated that minor disorder, such as broken windows and litter, could encourage more serious crimes. The idea was that if police officers prevented small crimes, they could stop more serious ones from happening. The broken windows theory has been popular for decades. More recently, though, people have begun to doubt how accurate it is. It turns out that the theory ignored important factors that cause increased crime rates like poverty. What's worse, it has been found that the theory often unfairly targets racial minorities. This theory may have once been celebrated as a weapon against crime, but today it's clear that it was a misfire. Vocabulary review. Destroy. Amanda lost everything she owned when her apartment was destroyed in a fire. Minor. Robin crashed his car yesterday, but thankfully he only suffered a few minor injuries. Crime. In this country, it is a crime to carry a weapon in public. Prevent. The doors in this apartment building are designed to prevent fires from spreading. Doubt. I saw on the news that it won't rain all week, but I. Doubt that's true. Racial. Racial violence toward black people continues to be a problem in some countries. Professor. Disorder. Misfire. Yishang